Good day everybody, this is Peter from Tales Productions and welcome back to Star Trek Online and this playthrough of a Romulan character on a completely free to play account. In the last episode we did some amazing exploring and found a new homeworld for the Romulans in the search for new Romulus. That was really fun, really sort of took me back to what I expected exploration to be, um, what I hoped <laughs> exploration would be um, and it never really worked out so it was good to have that episode, a bit of a flashback. Today we're moving on to Turning Point, which I think is going to solidify the Romulans in the ecosystem of the, of the galaxy. Which would be great, because then I can get my new ship. It doesn't look like I can do any of this until we finish Turning Point. So I'm totally ready to just jump straight in. Hello, Tamir. Centurion, we've made a, a breakthrough. We can't lay claim to Dewa 3 and make it our new home without allies. The planet is close to Klingon space, although they've never formally claimed it. If we could get their support, or that of the Federation, we would be able to break away from the Romulan Star Empire without worrying about what the Tal Shiar will do. The Tan has been working for weeks to get the Klingons and the Federation to agree to talks. Now representatives from both factions and the and or will be at the Kitama to hear our proposal, and so will the Empress. I want you there as well. I think we'll need someone like you on our side. It won't be easy, but this is our best chance to create a new life and a new home. Beautiful. So I just head straight over to the Kitama system. His random phrases are hilarious. Alright, I will meet you at the Kitama system. So here we are approaching the Kitama system. I assume it's actually Kitama 2 over here I need to go to. Just because it's got a name above it. This is a trinary system, that's cool. Kittimer. This place has some bad blood. Yeah. Back in 2346, the Romulan military launched a massive attack that slaughtered all the Klingon colonists here and took the planet. The Klingons took it back in the chaos after Shinzon's rebellion. This is the first time since then that they've allowed Romulans to be here. We should be careful. The Klingons aren't going to be in a great mood. Just having us here will be a reminder of what's happened. Zatan is waiting for us with the rest of the Romulan diplomats in the Hall of Conquest. Right, let's go meet Zatan. So, I think I'm right in saying that the um, the attack on Kitama by the Romulans is the one that Worf's father died in and was accused of pausing as such, like he gave information to the Romulans. Obviously, we found out he didn't. It was really Juras, but cool. <laughs> wonder what it takes to be put in the Gallery of Honor. I like that we're here. Can I talk to these guys? Yo. You dare to ask both the Klingon Empire and the Federation for recognition. Ooh, yeah. Might as well get some Zed particles while I'm here. I just spotted. <laughs> Look how, how many Iconian references there are here. This is awesome. Where do I do that? Bring up Iconian conversation in conversation with delegates. Speak with Zugihara and speak with stars. Okay. Wait, was that not... Stars is the big Gorn guy, right? Oh, man. I don't mean to be racist or anything, but they do sort of look similar. So, I'll um, leave him alone. You don't need anything? No? What am I looking for? Sugihara and Stars. I guess they'll be... Conquest. Let's hope one day the Klingons turn their attention to the tall Shi'ar. I guess they'll be up, like this is the Federation area it looks like. Maybe Sugihara is up here with these guys? Hello? Greetings cousin, do not be surprised, I see our allegiance as a welcome reunion. Oh, phew. Oh, there's a step towards reunification and that's one that both of our people will benefit from, good. Reunification? Be happy with peace. Yeah, good job. You guys aren't talking to me. Oh, was that? That's Sugihara. I need to talk to you. Right, okay, I can't. I need to go talk to Tatan first. He's that side. So I just saw a little Klingon speech bubble pop up there. And it looked like they just want us to be their friends to... Ooh, these are the Tao Shiar. Ooh. Ah, oh, we're not going to insult them, are we? Let's just greet. 
Ah, run along, you insignificant little colonist. <laughs> All right, fine. Hello. It's good to see a friendly face. The air here is a bit tense right now. I need to stay here and prepare for Empress Sila's arrival, which I'm sure will not be pleasant. Could you speak with the Klingon and Federation delegations? See what they're thinking. Get a feel for how the negotiations will go, and most importantly, try to convince them of our sincerity. Um, yeah, I guess. That sounds like a good plan. What can I do to help? I just said, what about the war between the Federation and Klingons? How will they both help us? Or Tovan? What do you think? No, I don't care about Tovan. We're still working on an agreement, but an initial proposal is on the table. The Federation and Klingons will help us establish new Romulus, as long as they can set up embassies on the planet. Of course. They wish to use this as a chance to acquire Romulan technology and Romulan allies. Mm -hmm. We need assistance to create a new world. It's a give and take, one that will hopefully work. You can start by speaking with some of the delegates from the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Just because an initial proposal has been presented does not mean the conference is over. Far from it. Any information you can get me about what they're thinking will help when it comes time to present our case. I guess I should ask Tovan what he thinks. I think we should do whatever we can to stop the Tal Shiar. Very one-sided, one-dimensional. If Starfleet or the Klingons, fine with me. I would be worried about us getting dragged into their war, but I expect that they're both more interested in our cloaking designs than our people. Mm. I say we go with whoever is most willing and able to help us against the Tal Shiar. That's all that really matters. We must be careful not to let vengeance blind us in our attempts for freedom. In the meantime, I would ask you to speak with delegates from the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Three Just times because says that an now? initial proposal has been presented does not mean the okay. conference... I will do what I can. Let's do it. I don't need to speak to Tamara again. He'll probably just tell me how we need to fight the Tal Shiar and stuff. You <laughs> know. Uh, what are you guys? What are you doing? There's a lot of just Federation people stood around, leaning on walls and stuff. And there was one on the bench earlier. Hello. So I'm still looking for stars. Yes, he's going to be wherever all the Klingons are. Is that in here? Yeah, there he is. The Hall of Heroes. They're probably Klingon heroes who killed Romulans. <laughs> Hello? Death to the enemies of the Empire! Okay. Diplomacy makes for thirsty work. The Federation ambassador can't hold his teeth together for more than a minute. The Vulcan just stares daggers at everyone. Half my delegation are a breath away from ripping into the Starfleeters like rampaging Targs, and we're all stuck in here with you backstabbing green bloods. Did I offend you? Get used to it. <laughs> we don't have a reason to trust you yet, and I don't know if we ever will. Good. I like Walden. You too. Maybe I could help you with the thirst. What? What's this? Discreetly observe stars. Really? I understand their stance, but still, there are issues. The would-be Romulan Republic is weak and fractured. How could an alliance benefit us? Cool. That worked out pretty well. Um, I need... Can I pick up one of these things? The Klingon dude. I need to get a mug of blood wine, right? Where do I get that from? Alright, stars. Hello. What do you have to offer the Empire? Ah, one of Datan's followers. Greetings. I am Ambassador Stars, representative of the Klingon Empire. I'm curious. What exactly does your group have to offer the Klingons in an allegiance? Datan is no warrior and Klingon politics have little in common with Romulan machinations. Alright, shall I do the Iconian thing? I'd like to know if there is any information on the Iconians you'd be willing to share with us. The rumors are forward. true. The Iconians have returned. Oh, wow. Our ships have sighted their vessels in Delta Volanis, and we have heard rumors that they have servant races. The heralds who serve as their personal bodyguards. A race that lives in subspace. And even one you have already seen. Be wary. The war you fight now 
may be for more than mere survival. That was really helpful. So anything else we talk about, he's super aggressive, but the Iconians he's just really helpful with. Awesome. You want to see our strength stars? Yes, we Gorn <laughs> can be diplomatic. You have bravado, I'll give you that. That doesn't mean you are strong or trustworthy. Perhaps an al alliance with your group would bolster our strength against the Federation. If you don't stab us in the back, that is, we shall see. Okay, yeah, we will. Good. All right. Go and see if I can find this guy a mug of blood wine now. I guess it's out here. Can I just get one of these off the table? No? Oh, right, there's some over the side here. It's only a very specific place you're allowed to get blood wine from. I don't feel much like a, um, a waitress right now. You know, I feel like we should be more diplomatic. Not just bringing him blood wine whenever he wants it. Ah, blood wine. At least you have some manners. Nice to know that you all aren't as ill-bred as the stories say. So what are your thoughts on the peace treaty? We are Quah, you don't even respond to an insult. Looks like you're on your best behaviour. Since we're being diplomatic, I suppose it could be said that you people may not be entirely worthless. <laughs> Thanks, man. But just because you know when to bring a Klingon a drink does not mean we are friends. I'm keeping an eye on you and your kind. The Klingons don't seem too wow. thrilled with the idea of being allies. Maybe we'll have better luck with the Federation. Yeah, of course we will. Federation are definitely going to want to be friends, right? They always want to be friends. Just kind of their thing. I've done stars. Should I be doing more talking with... General delegates? No, it doesn't look like I can. Alright. Oh. Again, look, another Federation guy just stood up against the wall. Weird. Delegates, can I talk to you? Wow, look at that. Look at that armour. And he is a big, fat Gorn as well. Wow. That's incredible. Hello. Greetings from the United Federation of Planets. One of our new potential allies. I am Jiro Sugihara, a representative of the Federation Diplomatic Corps. Let's talk, shall we? Yes, I'd love a chat. Now, please don't take the cool reactions of some of my colleagues as an indication of how the whole of the Federation feels. There is a history between our two governments, but I believe with some work we can all come to a peaceful agreement. And you agree? Alright, well I was hoping we... Of course you do, of course! <laughs> Why else would you another fine and forward-thinking Romulan such as Tatan be present here at this conference? I like to think of all of us, Federation, Klingon and Romulan alike, as engineers. We're building bridges to a newer, brighter future. We're architects, designing the vital load-bearing structures upon which we might build vital, cooperative efforts. But before we get to the window dressing, of course, you know where we must begin. Well, yes, we could start. Why with the foundations? You knew that, of course. Why, there's nothing we cannot achieve if we are able to continue to sit down and discuss our differences and, bit by bit, measure by measure, work through them and learn from one another. We must start fresh. There was one potential friend to another, and I asked this entirely as a personal question. How do you feel about reunification? I know there are a lot of people in the Federation still opposed to it, but I am certain that if we simply sit down together and discuss the issue rationally, we can... Wow. That's about what the Federation knows about the Arcadian. Archaeology has never been my focus, but let's see. I believe the Enterprise D helped discover the location of Iconia back in the mid-23rd century. Until then, we didn't even know the Iconians were real. They could have just been an ancient myth. Their history is quite dramatic, isn't it? Phenomenal power brought low by a mighty coalition of other species joining together to defeat a common foe. The destruction of the Iconians may very well have been the first war of this type. And, well, look at us now, uniting with former enemies to defeat the Tal Shiar. <laughs> this is a very interesting time in our history. Well, thank you very much. Styles was definitely more useful with that, though. Definitely more useful. Hello, Admiral Tanay. We must be vigilant. Okay, I know you're kind too well to ever trust what you say. I will not be taken in by your attempts to disar to be disarming. Okay. Um, you don't trust us, then why are you here? 
I'm here as a representative of Starfleet and an expert on Romulan affairs, and to ensure my companion does not surrender all of the Federation in an effort to build foundations. <laughs> I have spent more than three decades defending the Federation from Romulan plots. I have seen all of the tricks, the deceptions, all of the treachery that is born of hubris. Romulans believe they are superior to all other species. That is incorrect. It will take a great deal of effort to deceive me. I do not suggest that you try. This isn't a trap, Admiral. You will see. Well, there you go. I guess that's it all done. So when it said bring up Iconians in conversation with delegates, it meant just those two. They were like sub-quests as such. So that's cool. That looks like that's all done. We're going to head back to Datan now. Tell him that the, the actual person making the decisions for the Federation is quite cold and not happy for us to be here. And neither is the Klingon guy, actually. So we're screwed. Jolan True. What do you have to report? There's doubt everywhere. Yeah. We will have to be careful not to... This conference is a farce. Sila! You're not trying to found a settlement. You're rebelling against your sovereign. You're stirring up dissent with your wild stories of mysterious aliens mm. and colony attacks. Wild stories? Until now, I gave your little movement some leeway because I thought I could convince you to see the error of your ways. This ridiculous conference shows me I've been far too forgiving. You! How could you? <laughs> Tovin! That's enough! You two, please leave this to Tamer and me. I don't know why I got kicked out. I was perfectly civil. Unbelievable. How can that woman stand there and deny everything? If you ask me, the only thing worse than the tall Shi'ar is the politician who lies for them. Mm -hmm. There should be no allegiance with such... Hold on. We're getting a message from the ship. Okay. They're picking up odd ships on sensors. Ships that match the one we scanned back when the colony was destroyed. Good. Now they'll have to deal with us, the Klingons, and the Federation. Okay, so inform the Klingons they have uninvited guests. We're gonna need a new plan. The Klingon command base has ordered us to remain in orbit and leave the defense of Kitama to them. However, I am certain that the singularity signature I'm detecting is the same ship that was in orbit of Viranat during the attack. This could be the person responsible for the destruction of the colony. Do we investigate despite the Klingon's objection? No. Well, I guess we have to, right? That's the next objective. All right, let's do it. I was going to say just let the Klingons do it. I'm picking up multiple anomalies in the area. But the Klingons are still ignoring them. We should investigate them and be prepared for whatever happens. Keep an eye out for Klingon ships. If any hostiles appear, they'll show up too. If we're lucky, they'll target the enemy and not us. Very well, let's go. Is this one? The Alachi were hiding the tall Shi'ar ship. Hmm, that's quite cool. This is a matter for the Klingon Empire. Agreed. Get on it then. Sure why he would have just started attacking with me actually now that I think about it. Like that's just a Romulan ship as far as he's concerned, right? Is that a challenge? <laughs> Centurion, I'm Jarrod, son of Lursa, captain of the IKS Kang. You have proven yourself in battle against one of these ships. I will ensure that you will survive to prove yourself again. I was the first to uncover the alien Undine within the Klingon Empire. Now I shall be the first to combat this new alien threat. Agreed. Uh, we'll send you the data we have. All right, cool. We've got a buddy. Can can you join me again, dude? Please. Yeah, here he comes. Quite like the Alachi ships just going off after they've been found. Maybe we don't get to fight them a little bit. Yeah, 
Okay, so I had to turn away so I didn't get too close to the, um, the singularity drive going off. And now, hopefully, this is putting me in a decent position. Yeah, that'll do, I guess. Got a little burn on him there. Oh, I don't want to waste a shockwave. And this guy is going to die in no time anyway. Oh, I missed. Touch your dogs. This is Klingon's face. Yeah, you tell him. All right, there's one more this way. Oh, it's up there. One well, then Klingon. I really want to fly one of those ships. In my Klingon playthrough, I, I just stuck with Birds of Prey. I wish I'd kind of swapped over to a battle cruiser. I'd always do another one. Nothing's stopping me, I guess. Oh, hello. Why am I not surprised that you were the one who discovered us? I'm quite happy you did, though. Now I have a chance to rectify the mistakes of Gasco Station. Captain Gerard, you have no place in this fight between us. This is a Romulan affair. Captain Gerard? Touch your dogs! <laughs> this is Klingon space! Okay, Colonel Hakeev, you came into sovereign Klingon territory with hostile intent. You brought these aliens into our space, and now you have the unmitigated gall to try to give orders to a Klingon warrior? This is not a Romulan affair anymore, Colonel. You have insulted me, and you will pay the price. I don't care if you have a hundred Klingon ships. You will not stop me. We shall see. I should have been we shall see, not we'll see. Sounds so much cooler. All right, so I've got to get right behind this um, this warbird, right? Last thing I want is for him to be able to get a frontal shot on me. That's all right. He's targeting him. Brilliant. It's perfect for me. Oh, and I kind of want to get closer to set this off. I can't remember what the range is. Um, yeah, it doesn't actually say a range, so... Ouch. Do it now and just see. Yeah, got him. Really hurts. Leave me alone. It's been a pleasure, Commander. But my work here is complete. Hmm. I will deal with you another time. You mean your work's complete? You got caught. By the Empire. <coughs> you fought well, Centurion. My people will learn of Colonel Hakeev's attack on my vessel. That I, that I can promise you. I will also tell them of your abilities in battle. However, Hakeev did not die. Well, I cannot rule out the possibility that this was all a Romulan trick. My ship will continue to patrol the area. You shall return to the conference. Of course, Akeem thank you. beamed something down to the surface before he warped. Oh. I think. Yes, we're getting confirmation. He beamed explosives down to Kittimer. We've got to get down there and disarm them before anyone finds out. Even a hint of a problem like this, and the conference will be shut down. We'll lose our best chance for colonization. Okay. <clears throat> so I can't let people find out, but I've got to try and find some explosives. I have new orders for you. Good. Uh, Talith, what is your status? I'm in the Hall of Heroes now and things are underway. Did you handle the situation with the Alachi? Yes, I did, but Hakeev beamed down explosives into the hall. This is not good. It'll be too easy for any disturbance to be blamed on us, and Hakeev knows it. I'll start searching the Hall of Heroes. Contact me once you've found all the explosives on your end. I'll do my best to discreetly look for anything amiss over here. All right, make sure the Klingons do not find the bombs first. If they do, there's a good chance we'll be seeing one another soon in a jail cell. 
surely we've just had the help of a Klingon up there that can just tell whoever, like the Klingons, that it wasn't us. Oh, there's one. Surely. Like, and surely the sensor logs of those Romulan ships and the fighting and the conversations. Maybe not. All right. There another explosive this way. Next to one of the sitting around. Oh, oh, he's a Tal Shiar. Uh, well, <laughs> I wonder if they all are. Okay, that's cool. That definitely wasn't there before because I actually looked. Uh, I guess his legs might have been in the way. Maybe I just missed it. But that's quite interesting. Okay, so is there only one more? At the end here? Uh, ah. It's all over. Where did I see another Federation guy? Was it in the bar? Yeah, and that's, that's there. Yeah. I spotted them. I called it. owned all right let's call tomorrow did you get the explosives good that's a relief i found a bomb near one of the statues in the back of the hall i should be able to confirm that these devices were made by the tal Shiar once the conference is over there'll be more proof that they cannot be trusted why don't you come inside the conference the klingons are about to speak it should be interesting to hear what they have to say all right yeah i'm on the way but from what we've uh, we've seen, they're not happy with us, right? Unless Datan's managed to work some magic. I guess we're not getting an alliance anytime soon. Think about how many times we have been fooled by Romulans. Mm -hmm. Sila already sent the Tal Shiar to attack us here. Who is to say Datan is not part of her plan? Well, that's just stupid. We must not allow this alliance to happen. Hakeev. Treacherous Greenblood, what do you think Stay you're doing? Back! What? What are you? Remember this. <laughs> he gave his life for me, for a Klingon. Wow. Okay. Ah, oh, and I, I didn't even like Tamir as well. <laughs> now I feel bad. Um. Okay. So. That was quite cool. That was really cool, although I guess you could still think that was all staged though, right? I guess that's a harder thing to stage than all the others. Alright, what's Sugihara got to say? I'm from Starfleet. I'm here to help. <laughs> wow. Alright, Tamer's sacrifice will be remembered. I promise you that. Personally, I've never liked the Taoshiao, but we of the Diplomatic Corps are always committed to trying to, trying to find peaceful solutions first. But we can help you in your fight to bring justice to the Taoshiao, if you'll accept our assistance. We know you have much to do to build a new homeworld and free your people. Federation wants to be your ally in every Good boy. Walden. He gave his life for me. He did. Tamer died with honor. When my time comes, I, I hope I can do the same. His sacrifice showed me that we have a common enemy. The blood in your veins may be green, but you fight for your people with the courage of a Klingon. I will be proud to give my aid to you and to Tan. We will hunt the Tal Shiar like the dogs they are. Wow. Good. Tamer's death will not be in vain. Now we have the opportunity to secure our future. The Federation looks favorably upon our endeavors, but it will take time for them to commit. Now Tamer has shown the Klingons that there is honor and nobility among us. We may not have gotten what we wanted today, but I foresee a day where we will build a home and a life on new Romulus. Yeah. The next step must be yours. My speech. Both Starfleet and the Klingon Defense Force have agreed to take Romulans into their forces. I'd like you to be the first. You will be our eyes, ears, and hands in their fleets. More importantly, you will be our voice. Where you serve is your choice. But wherever you go, always remember that you are Romulan. If you haven't done so already, Speak with the representatives of the Federation mm. and the Klingon Empire. 
Then take some time to think it over. When you are ready, speak with Subcommander Nadell back on the flotilla. Okay, very well. I don't think Tamir I need to speak to his them. life so that we would be understood by the others. I know I won't forget this. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to take down the Tall Shi'ar. So I'm with you on this, no matter what. The ship is awaiting our return whenever you're ready. We need to report to Subcommander Nadell and let her know everything that's happened. All right, beam up. Yeah, I don't need to talk to the other representatives. Um, which way am I going to go then? Place your votes now. Would you suggest, if there's any particular reason to go Starfleet or Klingon that I don't already know, speak with Subcommander sub Nadal on the flotilla to choose your allegiance. Um, optional to speak to those guys, which obviously I don't need to do. I've got to go to the flotilla, have I? All right, let's head over there. I will meet you there. So here we are approaching the Romulan flotilla. Just coming in to, to hand in this, I think. And then I assume picking the side is just a quick thing afterwards. So I might just tack that onto the end of this. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh, a cinematic. Welcome back. I'm Sub Commander Nadell. Tamara's final actions impressed both the Klingons and the Federation. The time has come for you to decide which of them will be your ally. Starfleet and the Klingons both have sent diplomats to stay here at the flotilla. Oh, Talk to them if you have any questions. Then speak to me when you're ready to make your choice. So I think we know enough about Starfleet and the Klingons, and it's not like talking to them will actually help. Like they're not gonna tell us. Um like yeah, with us you get an extra weapon at level 30 and with us you get a something else. So I think I'm, I'm just going to straight up go for the the Starfleet. Did just because I prefer something? Space Dock uh, space dock to um, the, the Klingon homeworld. But yeah, simple as that. Let's choose Allegiance. I'm not afraid of the tall shard. Oh, that's pretty. Very similar to the, the Jem'Hadar one, right? Choose Starfleet. Okay. Done. There we go. Time is short. What do you need of me? So I don't know what what is next then becomes or then is. Let's hand in turning point. Do that, right? Tamer was a great man. He touched so many lives among the survivors, and I know he thought very highly of you. I can think of no better way to honour his commitments and sacrifice than by continuing to serve the Romulan people. On to business. The flotilla will be working on beginning settlement of Dewa Three. I keep struggling with the pronunciation because I said Dewa Three for so long. Or what we're calling New Romulus. Good luck out there, Centurion. Okay, so I get a few things. Congratulations. Wowzers. Okay, nice. Let's, um, what is this? Heard your recent accomplishments. I've been tasked to make certain that you have the crew necessary to achieve. Oh, cool. So this is the, um, duty officers, right? Um, speak with Centurion Valar at New Romulus Command. Okay. I need to do the promotion as well. I'll probably do all that in the next episode wow all right so i've got a lot to do actually there's quite a few here okay so we've just finished from the ashes then i assume although i've still got oh no i can still do both of these okay so we're just gonna end this episode here then i'll probably spend a bit of time between this episode and the next one doing some skills sorting out a new ship um, doing some duty officer stuff, you know, just setting everything up. Um, and then we'll come back. I'll try and do this task force operation, um, but it may not make it into a video. I, I know one that I've tried to do at a lower level before, um, and it really didn't scale very well. I just kept dying. So if it turns out like that, then I'll, I won't bother making a video out of it, but I might. Um, and then we'll come up for, for neutral no more, I guess. So when she's got a quest saying what's next... All right, I just didn't do that. All right, no, there we go. That's good. So there you go. That was Turning Point, I think it was called. Yeah, Turning Point. So the Kitama uh, negotiations. That was quite cool. Most of it was just talking to people, um, which meant a lot of reading for me with this sore throat. But um, it is, again, very much more Star Trek. I, the last few episodes have really got me thinking that this is actually a Star Trek MMO rather than just a sci-fi shooter. That's really good. I've enjoyed that. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed hope you are enjoying and hope you will enjoy. But by far, the most important thing is to look forward to the next episode of Star Trek Online.